Oh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is Supreme Dragon of Hidden Dragon coming at you with a Shadal deck profile. Don't forget, like and subscribe buttons are down below. Check us out on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Uh, those will be the days we'll be uploading. Leave us a comment down below what you think of my uh, Shadal deck profile. And uh, be sure to check out my Facebook and eBay pages. Those links are down in the description. So, Shadal's is right now my favorite deck to play. Uh, this current build has lost only to one Light Sworn Ruler deck and a couple of mirror matches. So, I believe this to be probably the best and most consistent version. Uh, though there are other light engines you can use, such as the Thunder Family and Thunder Dragon, you can. That's a one light engine you can use. You can also use the Baby Chaos Dragon engine. You can also use Mathematicians, which I highly recommend picking up before New Challengers comes out. When we get Shekinaga, because Mathematician being an Earth is probably going to go up to about twenty twenty five dollars a card. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, another light engine you can use is the uh, Heretic Engine. Uh, that's more of a rank 6 and level 8 synchro type build. It's decent, not really that consistent, not really that fast either. But, you know, it's an option if you don't have access to some other cards. Uh, another one you can run is the uh, Blue Eyes Engine. The three blue eyes, three maidens, three stones, uh, trade-ins, and cards of consonants. That really also speeds up the deck and provides you some interesting level 9 options. And going into uh, number 9 Dyson Sphere is pretty, pretty powerful in that deck. Again, not as fast or as consistent, but it puts up a good fight. It really does. Uh, second best is the Light Sworn Engine. Again, if you want to just play all-out aggressive, ha 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 ha, look what I drew into, you can play the Light Sworn Engine. It's a little more aggro, a little more aggressive, but, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> and finally, there's two others. Uh, one that I've been testing out and may switch to, depending on what they hit, is the Prophecy Engine. Now, believe it or not, you know, with this, with these already being spellcasters, the prophecy engine actually works pretty well with them. Um, you know, using priestess and world and secrets and power and masters and life and all that. You know, it's an interesting deck build. I'll give it that much. Uh, and finally, the one that I think is absolutely the best build is the artifact engine. I find it to be the most consistent and the most lethal because you can control when you go off and what you're popping. So without further ado here is my actual deck profile. Uh, we start off with three Shadal Falcos. Uh, when this is sent you can special summon it in face down defense position and when you flip it over, you get to special summon one Shadal monster from your graveyard and face down defense position. Then we have three Hedgehog. Uh, this is the Stratus of the deck. When it's sent from the deck to the graveyard or sent by a card effect to the graveyard, excuse me, you can add any Shadal monster from your deck to your hand. And when it's flipped face up, you can add any Shadal spell or trap to your hand. So that's how you get to your fusions. And if you run Shadal Core, that's how you get to it. Uh, I only run two copies of Squamata. I find that that works the best. Being able to, when it's sent, to send another card. And, or when it's flipped face up, to destroy one monster on the field. Uh, I run three copies of Dragon because I didn't uh, because this deck does not main deck MST, and I probably shouldn't be saying that too loudly, but uh, it doesn't. But what this does is when this sent by card effect, 
you destroy one spell or trap card on the field, so it can even be your own. So like during uh, your opponent's turn, you can uh, shadow games, send it, pop moral talk, use moral talk to pop one of their cards. You know, something like that. And one should all beast. Uh, I only like one in the main deck. Because, you know, this is not a tribute heavy type of deck. It's more of a send and uh, flip type of deck. But I like it at one, so if you send it, you can draw one card. If you flip it, you can draw two, discard one. Uh, currently, we want to run one Curry Bandit. Uh, may or may not take this card out for Shadal Hound. Uh, depending on if Shadal Hound is legal to play or yet or not. But if not, uh, then I'll be sticking with Curry Bandit, Summon It, Milf, uh, Reveal the Top 5, Add 1 Spell or Trap to your hand, Send the others to the grave so then you get your effects. Uh, one Sukiyomi. I saw this on someone else's and I don't remember who. I've uh, been testing it out, really like it. It's another level 4 plus. Uh, you can Summon It, Flip down one of your Shadals, Flip it face back up, get its effect off, and continue going, and then bounce this back to your hand. Or overlay or synchro with it. And my last dark monster is uh, Secret Sect Druid Drew. And the reason for this is, and I'll go into it at uh, the end of the deck, and some of the combos, I'll show you the combo with this. So, uh, for the light portion of the deck, uh, three copies of Moral Tech. Uh, this goes with the artifact engine, moral tech. You can uh, call a haunted it, or uh, I think it's or even if you soul charge it, I believe. Yeah, you can special something. You know, if you call the haunted it during your opponent's turn, pop a card. So it's really good for that aspect. Plus, it's a light and it's a level five, which I. I'll explain later some of the combos. And just one Beagle Tech. Uh, I've actually found out, I've actually found that the one Beagle Tech really is pretty cool uh, because you can uh, Sanctum it, pop a Moral Tech, and then uh, have a defense and an attack position level 5 and go into Pleiades or Volcasaurus or uh, make a level. Uh, seven synchro with it so it's pretty cool and the last light monster is BLS using a light and balance of light and darks having the BLS option is really good in this deck okay that does it for the monsters now for the spells run the one allure since this isn't all this is a mostly dark deck that does help out with the drawing uh, one super poly which helps out in, in any type of mirror match or any other deck that runs lights or darks. Uh, one instant fusion. This helps with uh, synchro plays as well as fusion plays. And three should all fusions. Probably one of the better cards of the deck. Especially if your opponent already has a card from the extra deck already on the field. You can use cards from your deck instead of your hand to make your fusion summons with. So that's really good. And then it's recyclable whenever uh, window or construct goes to the graveyard. So that's it for spells. For traps, three sanctums. Uh, they pop this, you get to pop one of their cards and then you can still chain it and special summon uh, your moral tech or beagle tech and do even more popping. Uh, one bottomless, because it's bottomless and you can get rid of problematic cards that way. Two copies of Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. Uh, this really sets your opponent back a turn, force them to have to keep drawing a card that they really don't want in the hand right now, or gets rid of that uh, pesky exceeds or synchro that you are having trouble getting around. And probably the MVP of the deck is Sinister Shadow Games. Uh, during your opponent's end phase, you activate this, send your dragon, pop one of the cards they just set, send falcons, send... Hedgehog, just whatever you need. It does a lot of work. Uh, two copies of Breakthrough Skill. Uh, really great in the mirror match. Really great against Light Swarms or any other uh, 
decks where you need to get rid of uh, effect monsters effects for a turn. Compulse, just again to get rid of that card that's bothering you. One warning, again, warning's warning. It does what it does really good. And I don't have it, but this is supposed to be Call the Haunted. Like I said, I may or may not take this or Druid at our uh, Curry Bandit out, depending on if uh, Should All Hound is legal to play. I don't actually have a copy with me because I thought uh, I would have my Deluxe Editions today, but expect that uh, later on. But what Should All Hound is, is uh, its flip effect is targets one Should All card in your graveyard, add it back to your hand. So that lets you recycle your Falcons. Or if it's sent to the graveyard by card effect, you can target one monster on the field. Doesn't have to be yours. Uh, change its battle position. Flip effects are not affected, uh, activated unless it's a Shadal. So that way you can flip one of your Shadals and get its effect right off. Okay, that does it for the main deck. Let me show you my extra deck. So for Synchros, we have Armades, which is extremely good right now. That 2300 attacker that they can't defend against. Goyo Guardian. Uh, this is also really good, especially in like a mirror match or something. That way you can get, uh, keep their cards out of the graveyard, whatnot. Uh, Black Rose, again, to clear the, nuke the field and kind of reset the game. Uh, Arcanite Magician is just really good uh, right now in this deck. It's a two additional free pops, plus it's a light, so it's a target for your fusions uh, as well. Uh, one copy of Michael, which is really dangerous. Pay that thousand, uh, banish a card, and then still get to attack, and then at the end phase, mill three and still get your effects. And finally, one Leo. Cost Leo is Leo, and it's really annoying to get around at this deck. Uh, for Xyz, it's all rank fours. Cowboy, 101, the Volvo Chain, which is extremely good in this, lets you set things up for drawing or uh, sending to the grave. And one Castle, uh, Sky Blaster, really good for shuffling cards back into the deck and or setting one of your Shadal's face back face down and flipping it back up to get its effect off. And finally for Fusions, Panzer Dragon. Uh, two copies of Winda, which prevents more than one special summoning per turn and cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects and recycles your Shadal Fusion. And two Constructs, which destroys anything that's instantly special summoned and allows you to send a, when it's uh, Fusion Summoned, you send one uh, Shadal monster from your deck and get its effect off. And then when it's sent to the graveyard, you get your Fusion right back. So that's that. Now for my side deck choices. Uh, for monsters, we have Dark Arm, Eclipse Wyvern, which is another light target and lets me get uh, Dark Arm out of the way so I don't draw into it. Uh, and my and two extra copies of Shadal Beast. I like siding them in uh, for that extra added draw power and extra dark monster if I need it. Uh, for spells, my second Super Poly, Soul Charge, uh, two MSTs uh, in case I'm running into something like uh, Skill Drain or something like that so I can uh, take care of that or Vanities. Uh, one should all core which is really kind of an interesting tech choice which is another way just to recycle uh, should all fusion. Two copies of Vanities Emptiness uh, again more for like the Mirror Match or uh, Light Swarms if I'm having any trouble against them. Uh, two copies of Light Imprisoning Mirror to take on Light Swarms. And finally, the last surprise, two copies of Curse Seal the Forbidden Spell. Uh, excellent choice in the Mirror match. They go to activate that Shadal Fusion. Activate that. Send one of your spells to the graveyard. They lose all three Shadal Fusions just like that for the entire game with no way to get them back. So yeah, so right, let me show you some of the uh, combos of this deck. And well, the first one I'm going to show off is the Druid one. So you summon, and you have to have Dragon already engraved. So you summon Druid, you special 
Dragon and Defense because Druid's effect is you can special summon uh, one monster with zero attack or defense from your uh, graveyard and defense position. So then that way you can attack for 18 or you can overlay and go into Cowboy for burn damage, 101 to steal uh, their construct or whatever, or Winda. Well, you won't actually be able to do that against Winda, but uh, you know any problematic card or you can go into the Volvo chain, set up something, Castell, you know, whatever you needed. So that's uh, one. Uh, another one is with a uh, couple with Instant Fusion. So you activate your Instant Fusion, pay your thousand, and special Panzer Dragon, uh, summon Falcon, and Synchro for Michael, or Fusion Summon it, activate your Shadal Fusion, and get off uh, Constructs effect, sending, that way you would get that flip face down, and then you would send Lizard, and then send, I don't know, Beast maybe, to draw a card. So that's another option. Uh, with using uh, instant fusion, uh, another com other com common combo is to uh, fu should all fusion for uh, construct, and then tribute it off for uh, beast setting beast. That way, when it flips, you get to draw two, discard one, and then you get your uh, should all fusion right back. Uh, another one is to fusion summon that and then uh, synchro for Leo and then you get your fusion right back that way too. So yeah, this has been my uh, should all deck profile. Don't forget like subscribe buttons are down below. Don't forget to check me out on Mondays. Don't forget to check us out on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Uh, leave a comment down below what you think. Leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And this is Supreme Dragon of Hidden Dragon signing out.